welcome to the world class. I am Noble Miguel Mario Tunica Bay. And I um, wanted to kind of uh, review this Kevin Samuels video. Um, my shit, I'm not monetizing my this channel. Um, so, you know, it can still be striked, but it is what it is. Um, because this spoke to something that I'm going to be talking about a lot. And that's the mental insolvency. Um, go research the word insolvency. I might even put it in this video. I mean, not, I don't know. Um, and it means, it basically means in, uh, unable to pay. The mental insolvency, the um, disrespectful uh, mentality that black females have today, um, following, behind, following behind modern females, which I, I kind of reject that term because they, we've shown that they're not modern because their information and understanding is obsolete. And um, <laughs> First world don't really deal with men and women, at least definitely not in the United States. But um, <clears throat> I want to let him rock because I like when financially uh, financially literate people speak because they bring so much clarity at one time. They say a lot of stuff in a short period of time. So let's let him rock. Is many of you modern women have been out here, and I'm gonna use some words right now, running up bills. One out of three women surveyed admit going out to dinner with the men that they had no sexual interest in. They were not interested in, they just wanted a meal. And men like the North, they remember. The men remember how many times these guys have been put in the beta male orbiter, the friend zone and all these other kind of things. So when it gets cold outside and you hear the- Hey big head. Hey big head. This is what men are saying. Here's what men are saying. Men are like, oh, now you're here. You've gone out and had a baby by Chad, Jamal, or whomever. You've done your thing, and now you want to come back. Okay. Well, just like I showed Sierra and Beyonce on Instagram yesterday, how those 218 performing women proved them, themselves to their men and got out of the game. If you're over 30 years old and you're still in the game, and especially if you're an attractive woman, if you missed Instagram yesterday, you missed a lot. If you're a six, adjustable six or higher, and you're still in the game over 30, you mismanage your opportunities. And guys are already waiting for the- In the hood, we say, uh, you mismanaged your pussy. And what does that mean? Hey, big head, hey, big head, hey, hey how you doing? And we're going to give, hey, big head, we're going to give his name Keith. Here comes Keith. And here's Keith. And here's Sheila. Sheila gives Keith the, hey, big head, how you doing? Hey, friend, I ain't seeing you in a minute. How you doing? What's good? You've been looking good. I saw you on your Instagram and blase, blah, 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 blase, scoop. And he's just like, uh-huh. The bullshit. All right. And Keith, because he still is human and he wants a woman too. The long night is here for us all. Keith is saying, oh, you want to come into the shelter with me? You want to share my warmth? Well, I'm sorry. Okay, lady, but I need you to understand. Uh, we got to get these likes up. If I look down over here, we don't have over 7,500 likes. We're going into the break. Keith's going to look back, and he's going to go through his accounting, and he's going to, excuse me, ma'am, uh, I can't accept you right now because you're behind on your coochie payments. Your, your coochie payments, yeah, your pussy payments. What's a pussy payment? Oh, see, every time you go out with a man and don't put out, he's extending you credit that he expects to cash in at a time in the future because we don't date just for nothing. We date to get laid. We date for relationships, and whether indirect or not direct, all that stuff goes out of the window in the winter. In the winter, it's warm in here. It's cold out there. The rules don't exist anymore. And he's like, if you want to come in here, you got to clear this balance. And me and you got some, many of you modern women got some pussy payments, dude. What's a pussy payment? Glad you asked. How many of you women have gone out and, and gone out with a guy, and put him in the friend zone, and then you talk to him? You talk to him, text him, email him. You use him for his male attention, mm -hmm. but you're not putting out your, the female part of it. Mm -hmm. And all you which speaks to the bullshit something for nothing mentality that they have, which again goes to the uh, 
insolvency, the mental insolvency that is uh, females today. Um, it, it's, it's, it, it, I mean, it's just pretty much overt. Um, and, you know, they like, they're so quick to want to dismiss anything that doesn't make them look good. But I'm like, you just, you might, it's math. It's about solvency. It's about literacy. Uh, you can't get around it. You're not smart enough to kind of finesse it. And I, they're so dependent on that bullshit. Like, you can't, <laughs> like, you, you, they can't stop. Like, once you show them this and that's, like, clear, bro, it's mind-boggling, bro. They struggle so hard with math. And, and when it comes to so-called black females, um, it's just 10 times worse, 10 times faster. But that 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 is the big problem that everybody is, like, jumping over, like, he about to jump to something else. No, that is really the big problem, bro. Like, you need to stay there where... Dealing with these females is a something for nothing exchange all the time. Like, this is where the insolvency is coming from. These same fucking idiots, if you went to the store, you're not going to give all your money and then them not give you the service. These same little females, the same ones, couldn't, you can't do that in the store, but I'm going to do that with my life for you. All you're doing is running up a bill. See, like American Express is a charge card, Visa, MasterCard, those are credit cards. You've been putting, with some of these guys, you've been putting the coochie on a credit, and now the bill is due. You can't come in the house, the, the, the gate is about to drop, the gate's about to be closed, and if you want to come in, you're going to have to impress him. And the first thing you will have to do is make, make it clear that guess what? Them games I was playing out in the market when I had five or six guys trying to pay me here, there, something and so forth, all those men are taken. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, and what do I owe you? Oh, uh, let's see. We kicked it for uh, three months, six months, and I never put out, what's that? Uh, that that's, that's 12 sex sessions and uh, mm -hmm. uh, three oral gratifications? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it's a bill. It's a bill. This will wipe your deck clean with a lot of modern men. Did somebody tell these ladies Dude. that men keep them men keep a record. Dude. See, Dude. a lot of modern women thought they were just gonna come back. A lot of a lot of y'all think that you slicker than us. And that's why, you know, I'm putting my perspective forward, which is not gonna be a lot about a lot of stuff that he talk about. It's just that it's, it's simple. It's like a lot of y'all think y'all smarter than us. And you think you slicker. But coming from, being from Northwest Baltimore, coming from a father and older brother who were real killers and real, you know what I'm saying? Like the, the worst of the worst. Um, the exposure that I was around, um, knowing what I know, seeing what I've seen, um, you know, we, we play these, we play uh, the little games that y'all little girls play in a household. We do that with police, people that will kill us. We, these police officers and federal agents be getting trashed out here. They don't never big up what we do. They don't, and they shouldn't promote when they're getting trashed. They're out here in the streets getting trashed. And it, it just kills me that these little girls, you you're you not even good enough to control yourself, think you can keep, continue to play with dudes like myself who've been out here in these streets and got out unscathed. You think somebody like me is stupid? Are you fucking retarded? You think you, you're, too, you're too weak and powerless to control the space between your plate and your fucking face. But you think <laughs> you can play with somebody like me who can trash somebody that's trained to deal with people like me. You're fucking retarded. You're an idiot and a half. And take men out of the friend zone and act like they don't have a bill to pay. Somebody tell them about it. Shout out Jeff. Jeff, my buddy Jeff is cracking up when I start talking about this concept. Yes, ladies, your beta male orbit is your friends in the friend zone. If you want to promote a guy out of there, you've got pussy payments to make. 
I'm gonna stop it right there. Um, it was just he makes a great point, and um, I, the reason I like what he's explaining is he's bringing a level of humanity back to males um, that and, and can put a lot of these females in their place because one of the things that make them upset, you this, you that, you know, on the internet, whatever you heard the shit that they say, is that you remind them of their position. See, a lot of the anger that comes with these females is because <laughs> their whole life, their value system, a lot of their little happiness and confidence is some compartmentalized bullshit that they told themselves. Again, like I said, both these things, they think they're slicker than us and they think they're smarter than somebody like me, somebody like him, somebody that's trained, show you in a really, really short period of time, I'm smarter than you and I'm better at this talking thing than you. It can make you look really, really stupid in a really, really short period of time. You know what I mean? And what happens is you take their minuscule little power away from them. You take that small little power away from them they, that they lied to themselves and just told themselves arbitrarily that I'm smarter than a male, yet I'm too incompetent to take care of myself. I don't understand that. And it's extremely disrespectful. And to be clear, um, we're not building this strength and intelligence to compete with you. You're a female. You're not a worthy opponent for a male. I don't care how you feel about that. And you need to focus on your mental insolvency and solve that problem and find something else to do with your fucking time other than being an idiot and being in the way. Um, on a lighter note, it shows dudes that, yeah, you're not wrong for uh, keeping account. You know, that's the other side of accountability. Being uh, aware of what you deserve as a human being and going, oh, okay, so I'm not good enough for you now. Okay, and then, like you said, stack the bill. You're supposed to do that. I've been doing that my whole life. Chicks, most of the time in real life, a chick that I've actually had sex with or dealt with, I, don't, I just won't say nothing else to you. I'm not gonna cuss you out, I'm not gonna mistreat you, I'm just gonna say nothing else to you. And keep shit dry, keep it corporate, keep it pushing, you know. Um I don't go out my way to call a chick a bitch and all this it's not it does not worth it to me. Most I ain't out of all the women I dealt with, probably like three of them that's just like real dickheads. Um in my life women treat me well. <clears throat> you know, cause things everybody ain't hurt, you know what I'm saying? Everything ain't gonna be like completely cordial but the level of respect is always high with me and the women I've dealt with most of my life um, so um, respect level just a certain level of respect and a lot of what we're saying is that it's disrespectful so me like I said I don't really have none of these problems I can find a wife I'll be married in a week or a month from now to be honest with you um, but I'm a man I'm not a low quality low integrity person if my brothers are struggling I'm struggling because I'm my brothers. It's not simple. It's not rocket science. Plus, I have a son. Plus, they have sons. Plus, other women that I fuck with have sons. <laughs> so, if it's disrespectful for them, it's disrespectful for, for me. Speedy the leader. Speedy the leader. Speedy the pack. They can't get through without the bullshit. I can't. That's what world class people do. It's not about me. It's about us. Respect the crap. No, 